what's going on you guys it has been forever since I've done a Star Wars video for this one I'm basically going through all the Star Wars movies so far I'm going through all the number titles and even the two spin-off films I'm gonna put them in numeral order from my least favorite to my absolute favorite but this is my opinion it's okay to disagree with me. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so, so far my least favorite, simply because it didn't really add much to the Star Wars lore except Han's backstory, which is not really that interesting. Well, I did like the movie. I did like the movie, but I just didn't like it as much as the others an excellent prequel to, to A New Hope. It really sets the stakes to, well, where they were at the beginning of A New Hope and really shows, you know, that the Empire has been around for some time and caused quite a bit of trouble even before the main storyline begins. At least favorite of the number titles mainly because I've seen it so many times and it used to be my absolute favorite but now it's just after a while it just gets old and you lose interest in it but it's a great movie nonetheless and a great kickstart to a great franchise this especially was a good film because it really shows Luke feels about his friends and how motivated he is to protect them as well as the galaxy even though he does end up leaving his training to save them he really had every right to even though he did lose a hand in the process it was still worth it it's my favorite of the original trilogy because before The Force Awakens, it was, for the longest time, the end of the franchise, chronologically. And it was the best way to end a trilogy. And it really shows that Darth Vader, despite all the evil he did in, in his life, he still had some ounce of Anakin left in him. And... That, that review at the very end, when I first saw that scene, I, I almost cried. I'm not gonna lie, I almost cried. Okay. The prequels. Hear me out with this part. It's my least favorite of the prequels, mainly because... Well, it's when you're first introduced to Anakin as a teenager, basically, and I love Hayden Christensen as an actor. I think he's very talented, and he actually nailed the role perfectly. It's just the bad directing, and it really shows what a pity, whiny baby he is for a teenager. George Lucas really screwed up. Padme and Anakin's relationship. They had no chemistry. I did like it. I still like it. I'll always like it, but at the same time, it's just a little much looking back. It's my second favorite of the prequels, mainly because Darth Vader is my favorite Star Wars character. And it shows his descent from being a good guy to being the villain. And it shows how Obi-Wan was torn, wanting to do the right thing and wanting to help Anakin at the same time. And it just got to the point where he had no choice but to fight Anakin. I bet y'all are really triggered at this point. One of the reasons I really like 
the Phantom Menace is because Jake Lloyd did a fantastic job at playing young Anakin. And plus, Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon Jinn, awesome. And plus, Darth Maul and... I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for saying this, but Jar Jar Binks. I love Jar Jar Binks. And The Phantom Menace was the first of the prequels I saw as a kid, and it blew my mind of how awesome it was. I don't care what anyone says, I love it. The first time I saw The Force Awakens, it was on my phone. I was watching it online. I wanted to really watch it, like really watch it, and it was amazing. Adam Driver, you nailed being Kylo Ren. You are Kylo Ren, and everyone else involved in that movie, I applaud you. You did not disappoint. It's all, it all comes down to this. A lot of people hated The Last Jedi, but I loved it. Not just because it was funny, but because it was the perfect send-off for Luke. It was the perfect way to set the stakes uh, for, the, for the upcoming Star Wars movie. And although for The Force Awakens basically got your hopes up, really hoped that Luke would come back and take down the First Order all by himself, only to be let down in that first scene with him and Ray. In fact, when I first saw the movie with my dad in the theaters, I saw this couple get up and walk out. But I love the movie. And I just hope with, with this upcoming movie, it really doesn't disappoint. Well, guys, uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Again, I didn't mean to piss anyone off, but this is my opinion. This is my opinion. It's been forever since I've done a Star Wars video, and I put a lot of hard work into this, because this was not an easy video to make. Anyway, I'll see you all around. Until next time, stay awesome. Bye.